Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So, in this lesson, we're going to actually work on the inputs for the Choose Character Selection. And we can actually put this code directly into the void update. Now, the first thing we're going to do is actually work on our input timer. This does require or is needed to be put at the very top of the function. And we'll say if open and close brackets, inside the brackets, choose character input timer is greater than zero. And we'll put that into the comments. No need to close the line off or any other brackets. If choose character input timer is greater than zero so as you can see it has no value at the moment so when the script starts this has no value but we will be assigning a value later this one here but we'll be doing that later on in the function but what we need to do is, if we have increased the input timer's value, we now need to decrease it back down. So we're going to say minus equals, and we'll just say 1f times time dot delta time. We'll close the line off into the comments, and we'll just put then reduce, choose, character input timer value and we'll come below here we'll create another if statement and we'll say if and in fact let's just copy this line it's going to be exactly the same so we can just copy and paste that straight in if it is greater than zero we also want to return at this point we'll close the line off into the comments then do nothing and return so if we've increased this value we decrease it and while it's in the process of decreasing so it's still greater than zero then we do nothing else and return and that's how our input delay is going to work however if the input timer is equal to zero we'll say if open and close brackets and in the brackets we want input dot and we want the get access function we'll open and close brackets again we'll come inside those brackets little speech marks and we'll say horizontal we'll come between these two closed brackets now and we'll use the less than sign and we'll say, go and say minus 0.5f. So this part just handles the sensitivity of the horizontal input, in this case, our analog stick. And the easiest way to see how this works is to experiment with this value. Although I do find value of 0.5f to be close to where I want it. I may do some little tweaking, but 0.5 seems to work quite well. We'll put this into the comments. We'll say if input equals horizontal... Uh, we'll say less than minus 0 0.5. And we'll come inside this brackets now and we'll create another if statement. So we'll open and close brackets inside the brackets character select state double equals zero. No need to close the line off or any other brackets. Into the comments if character select state 
equals zero, we'll come to the line below and we'll just copy this entire return line. So this is if we are trying to push left on the analog stick. So pushing right will obviously move the states down. Pushing left will move it up one or reduce it by one. Now, if we are at the first one, in which case it has a value of zero, we cannot go any further. We are doing nothing and returning. And this is because we want to, pre to prevent any negative numbers and allowing it to count down even further. So it stops when we get back to the very first one in the models. We'll come below here, I'll create a line break, but if it's not at zero, we want underscore character select state and then we want to reduce the state and we can do this simply by doing a double minus sign and then we just close the line off. Into the comments, we'll say decrease from character select state value. And then we need to call this function, the character select manager. We'll copy and paste that in, we'll open and close brackets, close the line off into the comments and we'll say and call, we'll just paste the name of that function in again and we'll just put function onto the end of the comment. And we're going to copy all of this block, remember to get this close bracket here as well. We'll paste that in. And this time we're going to handle pressing right on the analog stick and moving down or increasing the value if you wish. And we we'll change that to the greater than symbol and we can also get rid of the minus. So let's change the comment if input equals horizontal and we'll just put greater than 0 0.5 if character select state now I'm going to put 7 because I have 8 game models and obviously we begin counting with a value of 0 this value will be different for each and every one of you so if you have 10 models it should be a value of 9 and so on and so forth but I have eight models it's always one less because we begin at zero and we'll also change the comment here as well and again if we try and count above the amount of models we have then we do nothing and return in this case pressing right will increase the character select state so we'll change the double minus to a double plus and we'll change the comment from decrease to increase to character select state value. We still need to call this function. So that's our inputs for the left and right done. Now we have to return to the input timer. At this point we need now to say when to set the input timer to equal the delay. And we'll do this once we've done everything else inside these if blocks. So I'm going to come here, underscore, choose, and we want the input timer. And we'll just set it to be equal to the input delay. And we can just close the line off there into the comments, make choose character input timer equal to, and we'll just put input delay. So as I said, the script starts a value of zero. 
as such it will skip over these blocks. If we try and move left, if we can, we will do, if not, we'll return. But if we can move left, we decrease from the character select state, call this function, our case block. And then we set the input timer to be equal to the delay. And then these two if blocks become active. And that, at that point we have to wait for the input timer to reduce to a value of zero. And while it is still greater than zero, then we do nothing and return not allowing any more inputs. And this just solves a problem of cycling through the player options or the characters too quickly. And we can just copy and paste that line and paste it in in the other if block for when we are pressing right. And that's it. We'll save it off there and I think we will leave it here for this lesson. Now, I hope I've explained it well enough that you understand how this code works. But as always, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or you can private message me and I will always do my best to try and explain further. But as I said, we'll leave this video here. As always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.